Good morning, everybody, and welcome to circuit training. In circuit training, we have eight exercises that we do for 40 seconds a piece, and we do that three rounds through. So we run through these eight exercises first. First thing I'm going to have you do is grab a spot against the wall. Uh, I'm going to use my slider just to demonstrate on because I don't really have a blank wall. So if you need to go to a blank wall, you can do that. We're going to do a wall, so you're just going to lean against the wall, walk your feet out in front. We'll slide down and then we'll hold it. Looking at everyone in the class, I think you guys are all familiar with this. So grab a spot against the wall, slide down. And here we go, you're gonna hold it, push all your weight through your heels, not your toes, and we have 40 seconds. Time to go. Four, three, two, one. Good, you can slide up. And let's grab one single weight. If you have options of light or heavy, I would definitely do a heavier one on this. We're gonna do our back. Let's do a back exercise. So we'll do the bent over row where we do weight in the right hand. Left foot goes out in front, left hand goes in front. We take a good forward lean. And then we're just gonna pull up and down with the weights, nice and easy. Okay, so let's go right hand with the weight, forward lean, here we go, 40 seconds, just pull up, drag your elbow really close to your side. The more you can have a nice forward lean, the better, you get less shoulder, more back involved. So we obviously want to get as much back as we can since we're doing a back exercise. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. We'll stand up. You're gonna hang on to that that same weight you got. We're gonna do a curl in front extension. So you're gonna hold on to the end of the weight. Stand up tall. So we're gonna hold on to the end. We're gonna curl the weight up to our chest. We're gonna tighten our core. We're gonna extend out slowly with the weight. Don't have to hold it. We're just going to pull it right back in, then we're going to bring it down. We're going to curl it up. We're going to tighten the core, extend it all the way up. If you need it a little bit easier, you just don't extend all the way. You just stop short. If you want it harder, you're going to extend all the way out so your arms lock all the way. Okay, so here we go. We're going three, two, one. We'll curl up. Tighten your abs before you extend out. Extend out. Bring it in. Let the weight down. Curl it up. Keep your core tight. Extend it out, pull it in, uncurl the weight. Back up. Always make sure you're going to tighten your core before you extend it out. If you don't, you can hurt your lower back. Your back's going to end up having to hold some of the force. You want to use the core for this one. We've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you don't need any weights for the next one. If you would like to hold on to something, you can. We're gonna do a single calf raise. So all you're gonna do, we're gonna do the right leg for this round. You take your left leg, lift in the air, or wrap it behind your right. We're gonna just press up and down on that right foot and going up and down, okay? Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go, we're up and we're down. Nice and easy on the heel. We don't wanna to add too much impact. Yeah, it's okay if it starts to get tired or burn a little bit. We're going to keep working through it. 15 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's bring our weights. Let's come on down to the ground. All right, 
first thing we're going to do is I'll give you a quick demonstration first as we're going to do an overhead pullover today. That'll be the first one. We're going to go straight up in the air with the weights, click them together, tighten our core. And we come up overhead with the weight, and then we fall the way back to the top. We go nice and slow up overhead, and then back to the top. All right, so let's go in about 10 seconds. Grab your weights, lie on your back, have some bent knees. Let's go straight up in the air with the weights. Click the weights together. Here we go, nice and slowly up overhead. Pull all the way back to the top so your arms are straightened out towards the ceiling. And back up overhead. Keep a nice slow pace. If you can go down to the ground with the weights, that's great. If you don't feel like you can go that far with the shoulders, I wouldn't force it. Let's go one more. Good. All right, pull those weights in. Place those off to the side. We're going to do what's called a knee push. It's a core exercise. Let me move a little bit further to the side here. Okay. Knees go straight over your hips. You're going to place your hands on your thighs. Relax the head. You're going to push the knees and you're going to resist yourself. So you're going to push and pull at the same time. And we should create some tension through our abs when we do this. So let's pull the legs up like so. You're going to have your legs relaxed, but your knees are up and the feet are off the ground. Hands go on your thighs. And we're going to push. Go ahead. Give a good push. Make sure you're breathing. You're not holding your breath. Okay, keep pushing. I'm going to break this one up in two different sections because it is hard to not hold your breath. We're going to do five, four, three, two, one. Take a break for a few seconds. Take a breather. All right, same deal. Go ahead, push. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, good, take a pause. We're gonna turn so we're facing towards the ground. And we'll do a plank for core. You can do it off the knees if you would like to modify the plank. If you can, we'll do it off the toes. Where you hook, prop your whole body up in the air. Nice flat lines in your body, okay? So if you're gonna do modified, go off the knees. If you're not, you're gonna go off the toes. Go five, four, Three, two, one, here we go. Ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Come down and you can lie on a side. I'm going to lie on my left side so my right leg is on top to start. You can do that if you would like to do exactly what I'm doing. <clears throat> Let's do top leg, toes and hip, face forward. We're just going to go up and down doing a side leg hip raise, okay? Nice and simple. We'll go three, two, one. One, here we go. Last one in round one, and we'll take a short break. Just up and down with that leg, nice and easy. You can go as high as you can with that leg without pointing the toe or the hip to the ceiling. We want to keep everything facing the wall. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. Let's take a pause. Have a drink. Take 30 seconds. We're going to come back to a stand and we'll run through it again. Oh, 
best days of our lives. Some things they just don't last, and other things don't feel right. Because although we had the best years of our lives, some past moves so distant, and some stars who stay alive. Okay, here we go, round two. Let's start with the wall set. So, grab a spot on a wall. You can always just do a series of squats if you don't have a good wall or you don't feel good about what leg exercise we're doing. It's just a series of squats that will be modified. Wall set, you need to lean against the wall. You're gonna slide down and we hold it, okay? Let's go in three, two, one. Go ahead, back, back against the wall, slide down. Make sure your weight shifted in your heels. Some things they just don't last, and other things don't feel right. Because although we have the best kiss of our lives, halfway there. Some paths move so distant, and some stars lose their light. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Good. You can come on up. We'll come back to the front. We'll grab one single weight. We have bent over row for the left hand. So we need to get the right foot up front, the right hand up front. We're going to do a bent over row with the left hand. Okay. Let's go in five, four, three, two. One, here we go, forward lean. Drag the elbow up, nice and easy. Good forward lean, slow up and down. Keep your elbow close to your side. Good, we're already halfway there in this one. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we'll stand up, hold on to that weight. We're gonna hold on to the end of the dumbbell. Use just one dumbbell. Two parts. First one, you gotta curl up to the chest. You gotta tighten your core from this point. Extend it out, bring it back in. We're gonna curl the weight down, okay? Here we go, go ahead, curl up. Tight core, extend out, pull it in, weight comes down. Curl up, tighten up your abs, extend it out, pull it in. That, if you need it a little easier, you just don't extend the weight all the way out. Make sure you're also not leaning back when you extend it out. You want to stand up tall and use your core. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. We can get rid of that. We have our left leg calf raise. So, right leg can lift in the air or go behind the other one. We're just going to push up and down on that left leg. Up and down. Okay, nice and easy. Let's go three, two, one. We'll start our clock. 40 seconds. Right, don't come down hard in that heel. You want to come down nice and easy. Keep the impact low on the back. Yeah, again, it's okay if it starts to get tired or burn or anything like that. We'll try to keep working through it. Try to fatigue the calf. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, let's grab our weights. Let's make our way down to the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. 
We'll start with our overhead pullover. I'll show you what it is again really quickly. Weights go up in the air, they click together. We go up overhead with the weights, and then back to the top. Then we go back overhead with the weights, back to the top. Okay, so lie on your back, have bent knees. Go straight up in the air with the weights. And here we go, up overhead slowly. Make sure the weights stay in contact with each other. It helps support your shoulders. We're not gonna hurt your shoulders. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can both pull those weights in. You can place them off to the side. Next up, we have our core exercise. We have a knee push. You pull the legs up off the ground. You place your hands in your thighs. You have push with your hands, pull with the legs, so you're kind of resisting yourself. That's going to create some tension through our abdomen and create our core work. Okay? So leg goes up. Grab some hands on the thighs. Here we go. Go ahead. Push hard. Give me your 20 seconds this one. Okay, keep pushing, keep freezing. Don't hold your breath. Three, two, one. Relax your legs. Take a deep breath. Get a few breaths in. And here we go. Another one. 15 seconds. Go ahead. 15, 14, 13. Keep breathing, pushing. You want to give a good aggressive push so you have a lot of tension. Good. All right. Stay down there. You're going to roll over so you're facing towards the ground. And we'll do a plank. Okay, off the toes or off the knees. Knees will be modified first. Let's go in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. We're up. Hold it. Good, we're already halfway there. Keep holding it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, come down easy. You're going to lie on your right side with your leg, left leg on top. Unless you did opposite of me last time, then you're gonna do the opposite. But you should be lying on your right leg, left leg on top. It's just a side leg raise. Okay, toes and hips face forward, and we just bring that leg up and down nice and easy. All right, we'll go in three, two, one. Here we go, left leg raise. Keep the toes and the hips facing the wall, not the ceiling. You want to keep everything facing forward, not up. And you can go as high as you can with that leg without having to point the toe up. Seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Okay, let's take our second break. Grab a drink. We'll come back to a stand. Do round three. All right, 
grab a spot on a wall. We have our wall sit. If you're not going to do a wall sit, you need to do some squats. We'll do a series of squats. Wall sit, back goes against the wall. Feet go out in front. And here we go. Slide down. Push all your weight through your heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes. That way you're not driving your toes into the ground. Good. Keep pushing through your heels. Ten seconds. And good. Come on up. Grab a single weight, which is going to be a half and half exercise. We're going to do 20 seconds left arm, 20 seconds right arm. It does not matter which side you want to start with. You're going to be doing both. We're going to do our bent over row. For the forward lean and pulling the weight up and down. Okay, so get that good forward lean. And here we go, 20 seconds. You can even lean further forward than I am, I just can't go too far forward today. Yeah, the more you lean forward, the more back you use, the less shoulder you're going to use. Good, pause, change hands. Same deal, you can get started right away, go ahead. Good forward lean, pull up slow. Last one. Good, okay. Hold on to that single weight. We're going to hold on to the ends. We're going to curl and front press. So curl, tight core, front press out, pull it in, bring the weight down. If you want to relax your core, you can. You just need to tighten it up before you do the next one. Let's go with five, four, three, two, one. Curl up, tight core, extend out, and then down. Yep, tight core, extend it out. You can do it nice and slow. It doesn't need, I don't want to get a quick punch out. You're gonna do a nice slow extension. Pull it back in, keep your core tight. Three, two, one. Good. Okay, place the weight down. We have our single calf raise. Just one leg up and, up and down. We're going to be doing both legs. So it doesn't matter if you want to do left or right first. Pick a leg. Here we go. Up and down. If you want to hold on to something for balance, you can. I'll let you know halfway. You can change your legs. Go one more. Change legs. Start right away. Last one. Good. Hi. Right. Bring your weights. Make your way down to the ground. We have our overhead pullover first. Overhead pullovers, you're going to lie on your back, bend knees, arms go straight up in the air. We'll go slowly up overhead with the weights, and then we're going to pull them back up to the top, okay? Fly on our back, grab your weights, bend knees. Five, four, three, two, one. One, go ahead, slowly up overhead. Good, 
Doing good. Make sure the pace stays slow. You're not doing these quickly. We have to protect our shoulders. That means doing them slow and also keeping the weights in contact with each other. Five, four, three, two, one. Pull your weights in. Place those off to the sides. You don't need them anymore. Next up, we have our knee push. This is where you lay on your back. Hands on the thighs. We're going to push and pull. Okay, so you push and then you pull and you create some tension. You go in about five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Push. Give yourself a good push. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Three, two, one. Take a breather. Relax the arms. Here we go. Go ahead. Same thing. 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Good. All right, we're going to turn so we're facing over towards the ground. And we're going to do a plank. A plank you can do off the knees or off the toes. Okay, knees would be a modified version, off the toes would be a more advanced version. All right, and let's prop ourselves up in three, two, one. Here we go, 40 seconds. Prop yourself up, hold it. If you feel anything in your back, it usually just means you're a little too low to the ground. You maybe just want to bring your hips up a little bit higher. Halfway. You got 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good, come down. You can lie on either side. We have our side leg raise. So it doesn't matter which leg, because we have to do both. So you're gonna lie on your side so you have one leg on top. We're going to take the top leg. We're gonna lift up and down on the side. Let's go in three, two, one. Go ahead, up and down nice and slow. Two, one more. Good, all right, let's turn over so we're facing on the other side. We're gonna be on our other side, so the other leg's on top. Top leg lifts up and down in three, two, one. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. And you can bring the leg down. All right. Thank you for coming to class, everybody. Have a nice weekend.